It's Bourbon Night. I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to our flight fight. This is bourbon and coke. Which is different for us because we normally do our flights neat. But since bourbon and coke is something that most people start off drinking um, when they're in their early bourbon phases, I mean, that's how I started off. I don't know about you. That's how I started off too, yeah. So the question is, if you got your bourbon and coke, what bourbon do you choose to put in it? And I feel like I've seen a lot of people choosing bourbons that I feel like might be a little too high end to be mixing with Coke, because I'm a firm believer that you can't tell the difference. Um, what do you think? Well, it, it's interesting, and not to get too uh, long-winded on this, but when I started doing what I call bourbon nights with my friends 10, 15 years ago, whenever, Let's just say 10 years ago. <laughs> um, I started off doing it with Coke because I just couldn't uh, do it neat yet. So what we would do in our bourbon nights is we would have some on the rocks first on ice and then we would try that same bourbon with Coke. And we were trying to figure out what was good on the rocks and what was good with Coke and you know we had this running theory that if it was bad on the rocks, it was good with Coke, <laughs> and vice versa, except sometimes we found that magical one that was good both, both ways, ways. <laughs> and, uh, and eventually we stopped doing that because we started doing it neat and just and you stopped. grew up. Grew up, yeah. exactly, I grew up. Mm. Grew up. So, I just find a hard time accepting someone buying a $12 bourbon and putting Coke with it, you know. To me, that's like, <laughs> I'm like, just get a well or something, you know, sort of not bottom shelf, but not top shelf. Right. Um, but yeah. anyways, so today we chose four different bourbons to kind of represent a few different categories. Um, so we got Makers, which is a weeded bourbon. Yeah, and a lot of people will order a Makers and Coke. Makers and you, Coke. you hear that a lot. And that is our only uh, weeded bourbon. Next, we chose Bullet because it is a high rye. It's around the 28% rye. There are a few higher ryes out there, but Bullet you also see in bars a lot. Um, and then we did Old Crow because it's often a well bourbon. Um, I know places I've worked or gone to drink, when I say, what's your well? A lot of places will say it's Old Crow. Mm -hmm. So we put that in the mix just to see. Lastly is Blanton's because when you, especially when you go out to a bar and you're talking top shelf, they're talking about Blanton's. They're not talking about Pappy Van Winkle. Right, no or... one's gonna ask to put Pappy in Coke. <laughs> and if they do, they're not. gonna get kicked out. Yeah, <laughs> they might get slapped, I don't know. Um, well, the bartender gladly, yeah, give me your money. Yeah, just give me, give me your money. Here's a twenty percent tip on that. Yeah, whatever <laughs> you want. But you know, when you're when you're talking upper ends, you hear Woodford, which is like lower end of the upper. A lot of people if consider, if that yeah. makes sense. But when you're talking upper, you're talking about blends usually. Right. We did an ounce of each bourbon. Chad did mine. I did his. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. Um, and then a half a cup or four ounces of Coke in each one. And we haven't put ice in them yet just because we didn't want them to get watered down while we're chatting with you. So now let's pour some ice in there. Let's do it. Three cubes. Three cubes. Three cubes. Three cubes. Quick. Sorry. Oh. Cut that one out. <laughs> no. No. You're iced. We're good to go. Iced to meet you. <laughs> wow. <Yeah>. Fitting. <laughs> But well, yeah. you won't put me in the cooler, <laughs> Batman. No. Oh okay. My gosh. Anyway. All right. You ready? Yeah. Let's, Let's dive do into it. it. Um, we we always start with A. You want to start with D? Sure. Let's, Let's mix start, it up. Let's start with D. It smells like Coke. I don't know. <laughs> now we will say that we chose Coca-Cola, um, not Diet Coke, Coke Zero, not Pepsi. Because when you go to a bar and you say bourbon and Coke, they're gonna give you. Coke, normally. <laughs> so you want to drink it? Uh-huh. I mean, it tastes like, I literally can't pick up anything off the, it just, it's, it's very generic bourbon and Coke. I mean, it tastes like bourbon and Coke. I don't know what to say. I guess that's saying I can't pick up anything. I couldn't tell you which one I thought this was. It's really mild. Man. I mean, Am I back in college? It's what it tastes like. <laughs> oh man, this tastes like freshman year. I mean, sophomore year. <laughs> I mean, junior year. <laughs> On to the next. I mean, you're not gonna get. I don't oh, know why we're smelling. It tastes these. different. Yeah. Yeah. This one's like nutty to me. It tastes like. What is different? Like nut. I don't even know what to say. Like maybe a almond. Mm. 
almonds? I don't know. I'm getting more uh, vanilla in this one. Mm. Yeah, I get that too, actually. But ours are different, but I, now that you say that. I mean, I can definitely taste the difference. Now it's this, more interesting. This first one right off the bat tasted, like I said, like, you know, bourbon and coke straight out of college. This one, less familiar. Hmm. So. I mean, I will say, I guess the thing is, if, if you're trying to like bourbon and you don't really like it, but you're trying to get there, so far my letter D tastes really generic and plain and so I guess if you're trying to avoid it, that would be the way to start. But if you're like me and you like the flavors of the bourbon to come through, I think C is doing a pretty good job for me. Mm. I'm not enjoying the Coke. I don't ever <laughs> I don't yeah. ever drink Coke. I um, to be honest. So I drink Coke Zero or Diet Pepsi. I don't drink regular Coke either. So this is different for both this of us. This is yeah. Woo! That one's sweet. That one's really strong. But not strong like it doesn't the flavors don't mix well, I don't think. Tastes kind of like chemically together. Like I'm sure separately they're fine, but together it just doesn't mesh. I don't think that's meant to be mixed with coke. <clears throat> My B is also very sweet, and that's way too crazy for me. Way too crazy. Well, it's too sweet. It's yeah. like I'm having a hard time differentiating between the sweetness of the coke and the sweetness of the bourbon. Mm -hmm. So this is a struggle. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'm ready for this. Hey, also different, huh? I have my predictions, I think. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I don't even, actually, I don't know. Huh. Uh, okay. uh. If I had to guess, I would say A and B interchangeably are either Makers or Old Crow. C is Bullet and D is Blanton's, huh. in my mind. Mm -hmm. If I had to guess, I would say Old Crow is D this guy. It tastes the most familiar and I feel like of all the bourbon and cokes that I've had it's usually been Wells because again like you said why would you really want to put anything higher than a well in, a, in with coke? I mean <clears throat> out of all these I don't even really have a favorite favorite. I like C because I feel like the more of the flavors of the bourbon are coming through and the rest of them the coke is competing really hard so that would be my only choice but as far as price ranking I couldn't tell you I don't think. I just wonder if I'm going to pick the one that I think is the well as my favorite just because it tastes like what I think a bourbon and coke should taste like. A or D, folks, A or D. That's the question. Sometime I hope I pick A, C, D, C as my order, because that would rock. Well, you can't have two C's. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> I'll pick your C as well. Oh, okay, I see. Uh -huh. Go with your Don't sink. second guess yourself. All right, there we go, okay. So, any predictions? Uh, yeah, I predict D, what I've picked as my first choice, is Old Crow. I don't know, you want to just find out? Let's do it. Let's okay. Find out. I know you guys uh, are ready to find yeah, out. Yeah, let's find out. Alright. The magic the notebook, book that, the composition book of bourbon is here. The book that knows all. Yes, uh, that's where we write our secrets. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know last first, as yeah, usual? Last first, which is letter B. Letter B, your last one, is Maker's Mark. Ah. So it didn't sneak its way up. It did not. Which is interesting that I picked it last last time I had it, so. Letter A is your third, yes. or your second to last. And that is Boulet. Bullet. Well. Bullet. I didn't expect that. So Old Crow or Blanton's, one of those. Oh my gosh. If old... Is your, and if you go to a bar and order a bourbon and coke, Sarah, you will be asking for Blanton's and Coke. Wow. Okay. So you can tell the difference. Look at that. Here is Here I was mud. saying, I know, here <laughs> I was saying, don't waste your money on a $12 bourbon and coke. But that means that Old Crow was second. Yeah. And so say this. The I liked it. Ten, fine. Or the eight bucks, yeah, seven save, or eight bucks, and just get Old save Crow. Save seven bucks. I mean, I liked, you know, I liked the Blanton's the best, but. I, there was nothing wrong with letter C, which was the old crow, which, yeah, for that, I mean, I went back and forth. Save yourself the money. Save yourself. Literally. The money. In three drinks, you save like $21. Would you like to know your last choice first? <clears throat> Please. <clears throat> you chose letter B as your last choice, and that is Blanton's. 
Wow. <laughs> Which was my first pick. <laughs> <laughs> Letter C was your second to last or third choice, and it was bullet. Oh, snap. Yep. Any thoughts? <laughs> you want to just know? Yeah. Your winner is, as you predicted, Old Crow. Ah. Uh. Which makes Maker's Mark second place for you. Huh. 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 I have to say, I am surprised. But you did say that you thought D was Old Crow. I did win. So it came in second for me and first for you as a well. Yeah. And maybe that is just because that is what we're used to thinking a bourbon and Coke should taste like. But I don't think it tasted bad. And no. I, I agree. It tastes like a bourbon and Coke. You know, that's what we said the first. It just tastes like a bourbon and Coke. Yeah. So if that's what you're after, save yourself the money. Get your bourbon and Coke. Now, old crow. I will say picking Maker's second is a surprise for me because when we did him, when we did our uh, four best-selling bourbons, Sarah and I both picked Maker's neat last. as last. So I was thinking if it doesn't taste good neat, it won't taste good with Coke. But apparently for me, adding Coke helps. Well, you were talking about your theory that if it doesn't taste good neat, it tastes good in Coke. See? So maybe it is true. Or maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe it's just for me that's true for maybe. me. Maybe. Uh, I really thought this was too sweet. You thought it was too sweet? Mm-hmm. I'm giving it a try. Yeah, way too sweet. But It is sweet, but it's also you, really you smooth. You don't like sweet. I don't like sweet. It's really smooth. It's definitely smooth. We've learned something But you're right. See, it just tastes like bourbon and coke. Yeah. And like I said, I was like, this one has the most interesting flavors. It's the well. <laughs> now, what is interesting, we both picked Bullet as our third. Mm-hmm. And... A lot of times people use uh, a, a high rye bourbon, if not just a rye whiskey, for cocktails because it cuts through the cocktail. But I don't think it cuts through the Coke. I guess it doesn't cut through the I mean, if we're talking Coke. like fruit juices and yeah. like other liqueurs and stuff, yes, <clears throat> maybe the spiciness enhances that. Yeah. But as far as Coke, I don't think it's doing anything for it, so. Agreed. Don't do the bullet and Coke. Guess That's not. That's our, our verdict today. Well, bullet's delicious by itself. Just drink it. It is, just drink it. Bullet. <laughs> Neat or on ice or, or what have you. Okay, well, right. that does it for a, another flight fight. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. And join us on the next Bourbon Night for whatever topic we're talking about. Join us for the next flight fight, our new show, Uncorking. We're adding a lot here, folks, adding a lot of shows. So just uh, keep it here to this YouTube channel. Subscribe. Follow us on social media at It's Bourbon Night. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell, tell your mom. Tell your mom. I don't care. <laughs> tell tell your, somebody. Tell your neighbor. Tell your mailman. Everybody. <laughs> uh, so until next time, drink more bourbon. It's bourbon night. Hi, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And on this episode, we are... I already didn't say it's welcome to Fly Five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oops. <laughs> Here we go. I haven't even started drinking yet. I think that's a problem, actually.